Hello, in this video we will talk about how we can use Power BI Embedded as a dev test environment for Power BI Premium. As one of my customers once said, Power BI Pro seems to be only for amateurs. The real pros are using Power BI Premium. Power BI Premium seems to be uh, the direction in which Microsoft uh, is deploying all of the latest and greatest uh, improvements to, to the product. So uh, we see organizations rapidly moving and deploying Power BI Premium uh, in their environments. However, Power BI Premium is not a cheap way um, to go in a lot of cases, particularly when it comes to dev test. One could argue that you don't need to do anything special uh, when you get Power BI Premium, just create a dev workspace uh, tev test workspace and a prod workspace all in the same environment and uh, you could use the same environment for both dev test and prod and for many companies it will probably work however i have had some experience where a um, um, a a new model was developed um, and then after it was deployed into a capacity power bi premium uh, it simply killed the entire capacity because it was too large, poorly developed, uh, or had some other issues. Uh, and we've seen that uh, that scenario play out over and over again um, in many customers. And the way to avoid it, obviously, is to have a dedicated environment for testing and development where I can do crazy silly things in my model and it does not really affect people who are using uh, some other production quality models on a day-to-day -day basis. So then you can say, okay, well, no big deal, just get another Power BI premium capacity. Well, um, for some people it may not be a big deal, uh, but in these trying times um, when um, dollars are not easy to come by and economic out outlook is not particularly bright, uh, there got to be a more economic uh, way for us to set up the dev test environment where we have all of the features and capabilities of Power BI, yet we're able to pause um, and start that environment and only use it sparingly. So if I need uh, to conduct a test and uh, I need that test for a couple of hours, I want to be able to create a Power BI environment easily and do that testing there. Also, I would like to be able to play with sizes uh, for my capacity. Uh, a lot of times um, we're developing on an underpowered laptop on a sample of the data uh, and then when we load the entire thing we don't really know whether we need p1 p2 p3 what the real capacity requirements will be so we need to be able to play with those um, different sizes and see what the performance is so hopefully i have convinced you that we need a separate environment for power bi premium where we could do development and testing and we also want to be able to do it in such a way where uh, it's economical the way we're going to solve this problem is by creating what's called Power BI Embedded. So the way you create Power BI Embedded, you could go to your Azure environment, uh, go to New, and uh, just pay, type in Power BI Embedded. And then that will uh, give you an ability to create Power BI Embedded. So here you could say that you could grow your business, uh, make development more efficient, add value to your customers. So clearly that's the way to go. So uh, what I'm going to do is all you need to do is create um, hit the create button and then after that fill in all of the necessary pieces and one of them is ability to select uh, the resource size so here you could see that we have uh, a1 through a6 different types of capacity with number of cores and uh, um, memory and this is how we can go back so we can um, uh, create uh, something like a1 with uh, very cheap so $150 a month going all the way to a6 32 cores 100 gigabyte cache twenty four thousand dollars a month and we could change these things uh, as needed uh, as we try to play with different sizes after you've picked your size and um, in the pricing tier and you let the um, the portal do its thing the uh, power bi embedded capacity will be created and uh, you can come back and review what you have you can resize this if you want and um, the most important thing here is you're able to pause and you're able to change size, right? So if you're doing development or you're trying to do a demo, you're trying to do a test, uh, performance test, you could come in, um, start that capacity. It doesn't take very long for it to start. 
and then you could do what you need to do and then when you're done you just click pause and then you don't have to pay for this capacity when you don't use it okay by now you're probably saying okay you've convinced me that i need it you've convinced me that i can do it and it's not difficult to get it and it's kind of economical but am i really going to get a full featured power bi pr uh, premium capabilities with power bi embedded well let's see so now what we could do is we're going to go to capacity settings and then we do not have any Power BI Premium, nor do I intend to get it, uh, but I could go to Power BI Embedded, and then here you will see that I do have this capacity, uh, and I can create groups in this capacity. So let's create a group. I can come in here, say create new workspace. I still call it group, uh, even though now the new word is uh, workspace. And I could uh, uh, go through, these, um, through the wizard and give it a name. So I'm gonna call it KB Demo dev uh, and you can see that um, you can see that if I click on advanced you will see the dedicated capacity is on so it will create it, uh, this workspace on my dedicated capacity which in my case will be the Power BI embedded capacity and now you can see that KB demo dev group is created and it has a diamond next to it which indicates that it's a premium capacity so it will have all of the power bi premium uh, features and capabilities so to summarize um, if you have a power bi premium then you got to be really careful about deploying new and untested model in those environments uh, having a dedicated dev environment uh, or test environment is definitely a good idea if you want to have an uninterrupted experience for your customers and um, th there are really two ways to do this you either use another power bi premium capacity which is very expensive whether you use it or not or you could use power bi embedded and use it on a as they say on a per drink basis you know you could launch it uh, start it use it for a couple hours pause it uh, you can easily play with sizing of the capacity without having to worry about affecting different users and you will have uh, all of the features and capabilities of Power BI Premium and all of the benefits um, that, are that are necessary to have an effective plan uh, de development and testing strategy. Hope you found this video interesting and informative and please come back soon for some more. Thank you. Bye.